Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. I know in the past videos I sounded brash, boisterous, arrogant, and a complete copium lunatic. However, I want everyone to settle down because ever since the leaks of Dea surfaced and everyone was getting their pitchforks and bonfires ready to burn down Hoyaverse because of her quote-unquote trash numbers. Are we really mad at Hoyaverse at creating a terrible character? Or are we mad at the individuals who provided substantial leaks to help us determine the valid strength of a character so we can either A, save our primo gems for the character in question, or B, skip the character entirely? Now, in my last video, I did compare Ayaka's burst to possibly Dea's burst. But thanks to the biggest leakers in all of Genshin history, revealing in great detail what Ayaka's burst does, Genshin theory crafters presumed Ayaka as one of the best characters in the game. Now, with Dea, we only have bits and pieces of information, and not the whole ship, and now we are left in the dark with Dea. Compared to Ayaka, Dea is, in fact, the most secretive character in Genshin's history. This is why theory crafters are calling her garbage, and other horrible names, simply because all we were left with before the greatest leakers exiled themselves from cyberspace was just complete scraps of information. And now we have people like myself, who are not savvy at data mining, rise to the call as Genshin's Sherlock Holmes. And it is not just theory crafters who are suffering. Even to a certain extent, Genshin lore enthusiasts depended on Genshin leakers to revealing certain nuances of characters' personality that also played a role in telling how a character functions. Now even that is gone. The consequences of, our de of the dependency of leakers' information has now surfaced people. We are essentially broken, and we are now fighting amongst ourselves because our addiction to leakers is gone. Whatever information we get from now on will either be incomplete or complete fabrications. And we will now have to rely on the patch live streams for any information of differing characters going forward into Fontaine, Natlin, and yes, even Shneznaya. I know you're impatient and you love this game, but now the question remains. Will this be the beginning of the downfall of Genshin Impact? Only time will tell. Requiescat in pace.